everyone, this is Rio from Kelsaw Systems. So I've talked about three reasons why QuickBooks users might want to switch to Business Central in the previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, I'll put the link on the description. So please watch the video if you're interested. But for today, I would like to demonstrate how to migrate data from QuickBooks Online to Business Central. So Microsoft provides QuickBooks data migration extension that makes it easier for users to migrate data to Business Central. So I'll do a little demo for direct data migration for items and vendors data from QuickBooks Online to Business Central. So let's go ahead and log into Business Central. So if I've logged into my Business Central and this is newly implemented Business Central, so there's no data inside. So let's go to vendors. So I don't have any record inside, nor items, I have nothing inside here. So let's go ahead and start migrating data. I can go to assisted setup. So this page, you can set up sales tax or workflows and many other settings. But today we're going to migrate data. So let's go ahead and click on migrate business data. And it will give you instructions how to migrate data. And this page, you will have to choose your data source. So you can import your data from Excel sheets, but since Microsoft has the extension to migrate data from QuickBooks Online to Business Central, so let's go ahead and click Import from QuickBooks Online. And it will give you the steps and it will try to automatically uh, sign into your QuickBooks account. And it is ready to migrate. So let's go ahead and click Next. So when the migration is ready, it will show you the number of records. Today, it's just a little demo, so I don't really have much record, but it will show you that the geo account have 26, customer one, vendor nine, item 18. So this time I will like to migrate only the vendors and items. So just select these two and press migrate. And finish. And it will show you the progress percentage so you can refresh and both of them is complete. So let's go ahead and go back to our home screen. And let's go ahead and see the items list. And it looks like the items were successfully migrated. And for example, let's go ahead and see sprinkler heads to see what item details were migrated. So we have the item number and description. We have the unit cost and the unit price. And Business Central will automatically calculate the profit percentage for you. So there's only data that was set up in QuickBooks, but in Business Central, there's more columns that you can fill in. So you can enter your detail instruction and data inside here. And let's go ahead and see the vendor's card. And yeah, this one was also successfully migrated. And let's go ahead and see the Tibita's uh, vitamin shop. So we have the vendor number, name, we have the address, the phone number, emails, the homepage, and you also have the primary contact. And for invoicing, we have the tax code. For payments, we have the payment term code. And as I mentioned before, there's only data that was set it up in QuickBooks. So you can enter more details here. And for more migration details, let's go back to our slides. Okay, so we're back to our slides. I have migrated items and vendors data for demonstration, but there are other data you can actually migrate. So other than items and vendors, you can migrate data of customers, chart of accounts, beginning balance transaction and GL, on-hand quantity for inventory item, open documents for customers and vendors, invoices, credit memos, and payments. But there are things to know before you actually migrate data from QuickBooks to Business Central. First, you will need to download the Microsoft Data Exporter tool if you are using the QuickBooks desktop application. 
I didn't use the tool since I was migrating from QuickBooks Online, but QuickBooks desktop user will need this tool to connect to your QuickBooks and will export the applicable data. And second, Business Central will require to have an account number assigned to a GL account that you will be migrating. And you will also need to set up your tax account in Business Central if you have one in your QuickBooks. And last thing, make sure to specify the account to where you post transactions like the sales of item or service to customers, the purchase of items or services from vendors, and adjustment to in the GL. So please do these things before you actually migrate data from QuickBooks to Business Central. So there are more and more businesses that are upgrading from QuickBooks to ERP systems like Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central. And CalSoft has a CloudShip package specifically for QuickBooks to Business Central. So if you are interested in upgrading your system, please contact us. And I'll put the CalSoft info below, so feel free to contact us. And as always, thank you for watching the video until the end. I hope this was helpful and I will see you on the next video. Bye.